Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. One of the things that restaurants always do is they get set up to knock your order out. So I've got a pan, a bowl of strainer, and a pot of hot water. So I'm going to add some salt and a little bit of olive oil here to the water. And as soon as I bring it to a boil, I'm going to throw in that penne pasta. Then I want to start chopping some fresh garlic. And here I've got a leek. I'm going to cut into 90s and slice some of this out. You're also going to need to separate a few yolks from the egg whites. I generally use three egg yolks to every two cups of pasta. Now all you got to do is give that a good whisk. Then add some ground pepper and some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now here I've got some fresh sliced pancetta. And if you don't have this available just use bacon. Then add some olive oil to a hot pan and drop it right in there and cook it thoroughly. Now just drop that sliced leek right in the boiling water and give it a quick blanch. Now as you can see here I'm starting to get some color in this pancetta. So I want to pull out this leek, throw it on a plate, and then I'm going to spider out all the pasta and drop it right here in a strainer. Now you just want to add that garlic to the pancetta and get that flavor released. Now add the penne pasta. Followed by about a quarter cup of that pasta water. Now add the leek and stir and toss all these flavors together and you should start turning out some amazing pasta. But one of my secrets, I like to kill the heat right here and add about a tablespoon of butter. The butter really helps it get more of a rich taste and it helps to cool down that pasta just enough before we add our egg yolk. This is important because we're not making scrambled eggs. We want a nice creamy sauce. By keeping it off the heat as we toss, we'll distribute that evenly and then we're ready to plate. Now just grate some fresh Parmesan right over the top. Then hit it with some ground black pepper. And there you have it. Pasta carbonara right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.